Hello, welcome to all. Today's topic is Gartner Magic Quadrant for Data Science and Machine Learning. So if you are working with a company who provides consulting services in data sciences and machine learning, sometimes you may work with customers who would like to take some critical decision in their data science and machine learning journey. One of the key steps towards that will be selecting a right set of data science platform for the enterprise. If you ever face that question, could you recommend the best data science platform set for our company's AI journey? You need to start with most reliable uh, set of tools and platforms to assist your customer and protecting their interest and helping them to achieve their journey uh, in machine learning and data science. While we start in such a journey, most of the enterprise uh, decision makers rely on Gartner uh, reports for any software stack or any platform recommendation. The reason for uh, customers or enterprise decision makers rely on Gartner's magic quadrant is it's reliable and it is one of the most authoritative um, uh, and genuine report uh, prepared by the agency Gartner. And the report is prepared after having a thorough evaluation on, the, on each of the platform uh, by defined set of parameters uh, parameters it's not just somehow coming report it's just coming after a set of rigorous scientific evaluation is being done and the report is being published discussed with the vendors and then published there so every enterprise decision makers rely on the Gartner budget code so with the respect to artificial intelligence, machine learning, and data science, we have uh, two magic quadrants published from Gartner. One is a data science, artificial uh, data science and machine learning magic quadrant. The second magic quadrant is the one which Gartner started uh, current year 2020. This is for the AI cloud developer magic quadrant. Uh, these are the two magic quadrant which every um, AI ML leaders will be looking uh, for recommending to their customers AI journey. So while uh, selecting recommending platforms, this, this two quadrant should be always considered as the starting point. So if we look into this quadrant, there are like four categories, challenges, leaders, niche pairs, uh, uh, niche pairs and Vishnavi. To Gartner's definition, a leader is who has a strong presence and um, a great mindset in the, in the artificial intelligence and machine learning area. And they bring the best in class software, uh, which is tested, proven software uh, into the market. That is, uh, that is the leader category. Then we have visionary. So, they are the potential market influence, influences. They will be uh, coming up with the legacy of their software engineering as well as in the, the domain understanding, the theoretical contribution. All these aspects will be coming from the visionary category of companies. Then we have challenger companies. They have established presence and credibility in the market. Those are the challenger category. And the niche players will be uh, who have some strength uh, in peculiar industry or addressing some specific problem area or a user category. These are the four high level definitions of these four uh, uh, categories in, um, in the magic quadrant. So as I mentioned, here we have four, um, two quadrant, one is for the data science and machine learning. The second quadrant is, uh, um, uh, um, is for the AML cloud developer series and we can see that 
uh, the companies, uh, the top-notch companies like Google, Microsoft are placed in the visionary place. And uh, when it comes to the cloud uh, AML developer series, Amazon Web Service, Microsoft and Google is there in the leader series. And the visionaries are um, appearing as H2O, IBIL and uh, Prevision.io is appearing in the, in the visionary category. And uh, most of the times you might have wondered why uh, with, with some strong presence, some of the company like Amazon Web Service was never seen in the in the Gartner Magic Quarter. And the reason is like this started appearing it, 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 it current in the from the current year um, in the in the AML cloud developer series only. Um, that's the reason we might have seen not seen it there. Um, SAP was there in uh, in some of the previous um, uh, previous uh, magic order and like, uh, appeared in 2019 2018. But they eventually moved all their offering into cloud, and you can see that they moved into the a cloud series here. So if you look for the last uh, four years magic order, uh, we can see that. Uh, the visionaries always, uh, the visionaries and leaders and challenges always move their places and acquire some new places. But the companies whom I marked in blue are always there in this magic code and report. And they, uh, based on the maturity they acquire year by year and uh, the customer acquisition and their um, their overall strategy, based on all these parameters, they move with their, uh, their position in this quadrant from challenges to leaders to visionaries, uh, fluctuation is appearing there. But you could see that the companies like RapidMiner, Nine, Microsoft, Mathwork, Altrix, um, uh, Data IQ, all these companies are for quite some time they are there in the in the magic order and report uh, for the last four years. And if you take about <coughs> uh, about the last six years, you can see the same set of companies are here here. And uh, I think 2014 is the year where Gartner's Magic Code and Report for Data Science or Machine Learning was like formally published <coughs> and appeared there. Before that, it was like um, uh, coming up with the business intelligence uh, reports, and um, uh, and those reports also we can see that companies like Microsoft, RapidMiner, Nine, SaaS, and Mathwork, these are the top-notch companies appears in Gartner's quadrant. So. In all this perspective, if you look for an evaluation platform, evaluation platform assessment uh, for any any of your customers' um, enterprise AI journey, all these players bring their own power um, uh, into the table, which which will help any any company to achieve their AI uh, dream or the AI uh, journey very very smooth and 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 very. Um, useful for their developers and and, and, uh, and publishing more more and more product. Thank you all for listening. So, this, uh, in case if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me in my Twitter or LinkedIn. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you.